Okay, so now we're going to do workshop one, where we build the water wheel. And first we're going to need the two wheel discs and the narrow strip from the plastic sheet. So we're going to take the two wheel discs out of the die cut. Here's one. And here's the other. And we're going to take the narrow strip. And we're also going to need some tape. So first have a piece of tape ready, and then we're going to roll the narrow strip into a circle about the size of a large gear wheel. All right, that looks pretty good. Then we're going to take a small frame and put an axle right through the top middle hole so the axle stop is on the left side right here. Then we're going to add a washer and an axle lock. And then we're going to add a large gear. Then we're going to add the first water wheel disc and you're going to have to punch out the square hole in the middle. You might also want to break these slits open because you're going to need them to be open in a little bit. And then you're going to add the water wheel disc onto the long axle, but you want to pay attention to the direction of the slits. So you want to make sure that they are the same as the image. So then we're going to put the water wheel disc onto the long axle. Then we're going to add the taped narrow strip. Then we're going to take the second water wheel disc, punch out the hole in the middle, open all the slits, and then put it on, also making sure that the direction of the slits mirrors the other one that's already on there. Then we're going to add another large gear. And then we're going to add the 12 water wheel paddles that are in the die cut. So first, you want to take them out of the die cut. All right, so now we have 12 water wheel paddles and we're going to stick them in here. This is kind of tricky. You just have to be careful not to break the plastic. Okay, so now we have our 12 paddles in here, as you can see in image number 7. And now we're going to add the other small frame onto this long axle through the top middle hole again. And then we're going to put both of them onto a large frame. We're going to leave three holes empty and then put it in the fourth hole. So, so three holes are empty on one side and four holes are empty on the other side. And this is our water wheel.